I like my animations like I like my coffee. Smooth and with the right amount of Java. Okay, unsubscribe, I'm sorry. However, in all seriousness, having animations on your site is like the sprinkle on the cake. A site goes from being boring and static to fun and engaging. So what we'll do in this video is go over two animation libraries to make animations like the on hover movements and beautiful animations like this. But before we get into it, please, 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 if you haven't already, like and subscribe. It would honestly really go a long way. It costs you nothing and it means the world to me. But anyways, here are two of my favorite animation libraries. Now the first one is called AOS Animations. All you need to do to install it is run npm install AOS dash dash save. And then go to the page where you want to do the animations and import AOS from AOS and then AOS dist AOS.CSS. And once you have it imported, use the use effect with AOS. Now this is the one that's on their site, but you can like change up the duration for how long the animations come or like ease in, ease out. It's, it's very customizable. But for now, we're going to leave it at ease out cubic. And now let's say we want to add the animation to this uh, bar right here. All we would need to do is just wrap it in a div and then just call data AOS with the type of fade or animation that we want. So let's write fade right. And this is what the animation would look like. And by the way, AOS has many more like fade right, fade left, fade upright, so it moves up and down. And they even have like flip animation, so it's very dynamic. And all you need to do is just import the AOS and then just put it right into your code. Now the next and honestly my favorite sort of animation to put on the website is the moving hover features. And for that we will be using Framer Motion. It's a library filled with amazing modern day animations such as this one over here or even gestures when you hover. And to get this sort of animation on your hover, all you'd want to do first is install Framer Motion. And in the page where you want the animation, import motion and then simply add this and i know this might be a little scary to look at like what's motion div and all of this but let me explain so this is framer motion's way of identifying where we're gonna put the animation so we just write motion dot div and then we wrap our image which is also a motion dot image and then we put the actual uh, image in there and basically what is going on is when the user hovers over the image we're telling motion to animate 360 degrees which you can see right here and then when we click on the animation it scales by negative 90 degrees while getting smaller so i'm just going to pause here so maybe you can like copy paste it or you want to go to the documentation because they have much more than this but again all you need to know is that we just wrap it in a motion.div and then motion.image for the image or uh, motion.p for like the text and then as you can see the animation animation works. This is it going 90 degrees when we are hovering as we saw over here. And then while tap, it goes to the left. But anyways, these are just two simple animations that you can add into your website to look like a freaking pro. Like I suck at front end and this was extremely easy for me to add. And it looks super professional. You don't have to add anything else. All you do is just install it, implement it into your code, and then voila. You've got animations like a pro. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, if you haven't already, please, please, please like and subscribe. It would honestly go a long way. If you have any questions, let me know down below or join the Discord. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.